I'd like to highlight some of the major changes that we've made to the Living Atlas of the World. The Living Atlas is Esri's collection of geospatial content, amazing maps and apps and data that are contributed not only by Esri, but by our community, by people like you who have great work that you want to share with the world. Now, it's a very large collection, and so we really wanted to focus on a couple key things. The first was a better search experience, the second was a better browse experience, and the third was an easier way to contribute and to become a part of this community. Now, the new semantic search engine that we have understands all sorts of things. For example, the at symbol. So I may not remember what an item is called, but I remember who created it, so I can search by user. I can refine this further by saying, look, I only want to find maps. These are web maps, and so that's an item type. What's great about this is that it understands that maps don't have to be in the title or in the description, but it's able to intuit that that's an item type. Now, if you want to learn, learn more about these, you can mouse over them and get a quick description, or you can click through the card to the item detail page to learn everything. Back here, you can keep searching if you haven't found what you wanted. The Living Atlas makes great use of tags on all of the items, so I'm searching hashtag politics here. I could further refine that by hashtag politics and restricting it to just apps. Uh, and so you can see there's a lot of flexibility in the search engine. If you're not sure what to search, you can click on the search examples over here. And for example, latest maps about California. What's interesting about this is it understands that latest is a time sensitive thing. And so it's showing you the newest maps. And it's also understanding that California is a location. So anything with that spatial extent is going to be captured by this search term. So that's the new search experience, and we hope you uh, enjoy using it. Now, the second thing we want to do is highlight the amazing work that our curators do. We have curators from around the world who are experts in many, many different areas, and their expertise is brought to bear by finding the best examples and putting them into these uh, collections, into these buckets. So, for example, we have Earth Observation is one uh, collection. We have Oceans is another. Uh, and you can learn all sorts of amazing things just by browsing through these collections. Um, and they are always being updated and expanded. So that's the browse and search experience. How do you become a member of this community? How do you participate in the Living Atlas? Well, click on My Contributions. And what I'm seeing now are all the items in my ArcGIS Online contents, and they've been scored based on qualities of the metadata. So for example, this item has no summary and it's required, so I'm getting zero out of eight points. Um, I need to add better thumbnails, uh, there's no description, and so you can see it's not getting a very high score. What we're trying to do is help you understand the things that are worth taking just a minute or two to fill out because they're going to really improve the discoverability of your work. And if we don't have tags, if we don't have descriptions, if we don't have all sorts of rich metadata, it's very hard for your work to both be discovered and for it to be understood by an audience of people. And so we've set a threshold of 80%, uh, the first step to getting into the Living Atlas. Uh, and this one actually has already been nominated. I've already gone through all the way with the nomination, that's why it has a little badge. This guy here is over 80%, so um, there are some things I could still improve on it, but just to demonstrate it, uh, it's above 80% and I can nominate now. And it says, you're almost there, but what you need to do is add a large thumbnail. And so I can just get in here and edit the thumbnail and add a large one. If there are other things that I'd like to edit about it, I can of course click on this here and this will take me over to the item detail page to make further edits. If I can't remember which, uh, what this is, I can of course open it and have a look at it. But all of the work can be done right here in the My Contributions tab for you to find items that you want to nominate and to nominate them themselves. So it's all being done now in one location. Just before we conclude the tour, I want to highlight the Benefits tab here, which outlines some of the reasons why you'd want to become a contributor and join this community. We outline some of the success stories, some of the people who've participated and the benefits from doing so. And of course, there's two pathways to becoming a part of the Living Atlas of the world. The first is to contribute your best maps and apps to become part of the Living Atlas. And the other is to contribute high quality geospatial data, which can be incorporated directly into Esri's base maps. The other tab is the My Favorites tab up here, which shows all of the items that you've previously favorited. Favoriting is a great way to find things quickly again that you may have found in previous sessions and make sure that you don't forget. So these are the major changes that we've made to the Living Atlas and we hope you enjoy using it uh, and please consider contributing content. You have great work that you want lots of people to see.